as hot as today's going to be, yeah, we got to get started on day 23. Who's ready to go see what kind of mischief we can get into? Welcome back, everybody. It is old Big Mike again in Hoopty Barn again with the Blue Goose again. And if you'll recall, here a while back when I was working on that steering, you know, there for a day or so, I had to kind of take a break from that because it was getting frustrating. Well, you know, sometimes we got to just do that. And so it is with this. Working on this uh, firewall thing. I still got quite a bit of figuring to do under there and all that. And Well, I need a break from that. Because my brain is all... Anyway. And if you, if you were on the live the other night with John Wilburn and Deke, or his last name but anyway the tech inspector dude for the no names there they're talking about tech and in particular the windshield issue which I have on the goose now as much as I hate to say you know the nostalgia of the bullet hole that goes through there and goes out through the back of the car. Uh, I don't know if we can line her up there, but anyway, this dude goes all the way through and it's super cool. But if I ain't gonna be able to drive this thing down the drag strip like I want to because of that right there, well, then we're gonna have to do something about it. And I thought, you know, since I'm going to take a break from that other mess for a day or so, I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can get this whole windshield business out of here. Now, I went ahead and I sprayed up underneath here, under this visor. There's screws that hold this in all the way around. That's why it looks wet. I sprayed up in here to get into the back side of them screws. And I'm going to try to get this windshield out of here and uh you know let's see if we can't do something with it i've got an idea we'll see if it's feasible or not so stick with me i'm gonna get to work on this thing and see if i can make something happen i'll be back here directly all right well this is gonna need to be addressed anyway so this frame is really rusted out in there. I mean, yeah. It's supposed to be like a piano hinge in there. So, yeah, it was, it was pretty rough. So, anyway, I'm going to take this dude outside and I'm going to put the wire wheel to the frame and the rust and all that and We'll see what we got to work with when we get done. All right, well, yep. here I'll show you a little side-by-side -side comparison of what I cleaned versus what I have yet to clean. And this is the part of the frame that I cleaned right here. That's what I have yet to clean. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty crusty. And there's this side that I cleaned. All this got all the chrome peeling off and all that. So, yeah, we'll get it. All right, so I got her all cleaned up. And I'm going to try my little experiment. If it works, I'm a genius. If it doesn't work, pretend I didn't do it. All right, so this is the top of the window frame. 
and what I thought was like piano hinge, well, it's not quite. It's more like just a crimped piece of metal that slides over this. So I might see if I can't take that to somebody who's got a good metal brake. See if I can get them to try and bend me a piece like that. I don't know. But that is what it is. So the other thing that we're going to see if I'm a genius or an idiot about is out here. Man, it is getting freaking hot. So what is this about? Well, so I got an upset chicken. Anyway, so I got me some of that epoxy resin again. And, you know, I mean, the first time it was a little, little wonky. So this time I'm going to try it again. I, you know, some of the things I should have done and didn't, some of the things I did and shouldn't have. Well, this time I got it mixed up right, I believe. And we're going to try something here. Got me a syringe. I've let this set till most of the bubbles in it are around the outside edge. It's pretty much bubble free. I want to try. Push some of this. And some of these cracks and chips. More, more. We're just going to see. We're just going to leave it out here in this hot sun. And see what it does. And, uh, I mean, what's worse I could do? Ruin my windshield? A little bit late for all that. I figure, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and give her a go and see how it goes. See if it'll settle down in there. Kind of giving her a little bit of a push. See if it works. Probably not, but if it does, you know, it'll be pretty cool. Getting awful warm in there. Apparently, when you put it in this, it gets warm quick. Oh, heck, look at that. Yeah, see, I messed up. I let it set too long out here. Now it's already setting up. Woo wee. It said that setting time was about 30 to 40 minutes. Well, I had it setting out here in this cup about seven or eight minutes, but it's hot, so I can see why it would want to give way on me. So, well, that part didn't work. So, all right. Hi. Yeah, babe. Well, I guess I got to redo. Alright, well, she's on there, and we're just going to see if all the little bubbles go away and all that. I just went ahead and just kind of, because that little syringe, dude, yeah, that, that wasn't going to cut it. 
So, anyway, I guess we'll see how it turns out. Whew, it is hot, 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 and I ain't working inside here anymore. So, appreciate y'all following along. Come back tomorrow, and uh, we'll see what that side turned out like. And maybe we'll flip her over and do the other side. And uh, appreciate y'all hanging out. Do me a favor. If you ain't subscribed, go ahead and do that. And hit that thumbs up and that notification bell so you know when tomorrow's video comes out. And you know the drill. Until next time, y'all keep watching. I'm going to keep working.